Hi, everyone, and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines, already chanting, Go Blue! This is an important matchup, a battle of two top 10 teams, two forces colliding. One team will leave here making a big statement, as we'll see the number three team in the country, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Street. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Wolverines will kick it away to start us off. Fields it just outside the goal line. The returner coughs up the football inside their own 20. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Another example of taking care of the football and how big of a deal this is. Usually it's running backs in practice that are working overtime on ball security. But after this, next week, this returner might be in those drills, too. Can't be trusted to return it when you can't hold on to the football. Second down play coming up for this offense. And there's the handoff. Will he score here? Tackled at the one-yard line. Couldn't quite get in, but an excellent run. Well, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. The Wolverines looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, this defense is being challenged. They're close to their own goal line, but how about this play? All 11 guys coming together. They stood firm. The result is a short loss for the offense. Nice job. Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. Trying to find room. It's Edwards. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. Well, he came close to putting this ball into the end zone, but comes up short. Now we're looking at a third and goal. Boy, the defense is digging in. The offensive line trying to get a good push. I'm curious to see if they try to run the football again here on third and goal. Ball sits at the two-yard line for third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. Ball carrier wrapped up and brought down. Here we go, Chris. Early in the game, opening drive. This is a big decision and really an opportunity to send a message for this offense. Do you go for this, this close to the goal line, and make that statement, or do you settle for three? So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. And it's good right down the middle. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3 nothing. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches, pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Texas Longhorns offense takes the field. The first chance we had to see them today. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? They flip it to him on the jet sweep. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Boy, I'm a big fan of that jet sweep motion like that. It really forces the defense to stretch them out horizontally and can create some vertical seams for this offense. They got some positive yards, didn't quite get the first down, but I'll tell you what they've done. Planted a seed on this defense that they better defend this style of play moving forward. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The ball is free in the backfield. Recovery by the defense, headed the other way. Touchdown, Michigan. The defense adds six points. When you talk about a big-time play by the defense, they force the fumble, scoop it up, and score a touchdown. Now that is a game-changing play.
So they'll try to add to the lead now to the PAT. The extra point makes it a 10-point game. The kickoff team on the field now is a set to send this one away. Fielded in the end zone. It's Bolden. He'll be stopped short of the 20-yard line. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's see fly. And the pass is intercepted as he throws in the double coverage that time. Not a great return, but the interception wipes out the scoring threat and gives the offense the ball in the 32. line getting set up it's a first down play trying to find some room it's Edwards the pickup is seven yards now it's second and three great job by the offensive line here opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller allow him to make that defense think are they going to run maybe play action maybe throw the ball downfield Offense getting set up. Here's second down. QB decides to keep it here. Tackle, but first down. Man, is he pretty to watch run this option. He is so dangerous with the threat to run or to throw. This time he keeps it himself, and you can see how much ground he eats up with that kind of speed. And the Wolverines line it up with first and goal. Movement here from the tight end. First and goal, handoff. And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. That's a second and goal play for the offense. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. What a great play by the defense here. Getting close to the goal line. Not only do they come up with a big stop, but they send them backwards in the process. Ball spotted at the five for this third and goal play. To throw, it's Orgy. Bringing pressure. Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. No turnover. Offense recovers the fumble. Well, just like running backs, quarterbacks have got to do a better job of having awareness and taking care of the football. Felt like he got the ball away from his body there a little bit, allowing it to be knocked free. He caught a break because one of his own teammates was able to see that and get on top of the ball. So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. He was on target with his first try. See if he can keep it going from 34 yards away. He knocks this one right through. And they add to their lead. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. I'm surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Bringing it out, it's Golden. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. See if this quarterback can bounce back. The last possession, a pick from the very first play. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And brought down at the line with that big defensive tackle. 
excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. Now it's second down here. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. And as we reach the end of one, the lead is starting to mount. Let's take a quick look at the first quarter stats before we move on. And as we flip the field and begin quarter number two, we'll see if they can continue to build this lead. Handoff here from the shotgun. And the freshman brings him down quickly. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Finds that big tight end for a short pass. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. The Longhorns will line up to boot it away. And the offense will have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Bringing you back, it's Morgan. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They're trying to build this lead here. Had to settle for three last time out. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. Getting set. Here's second down. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrone Wheatley and Leroy Hoare. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. First down here for this offense. Here's the handoff. Great cut there. And the runner scoots out of bounds after gaining some decent yardage. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here. He's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down after that run on the previous play. Ball handed off. The Wolverines pick up enough yards to get a fresh set of downs. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line. But give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Wolverines are going to keep this drive rolling. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And the tackle is made after a four-yard game, so second and six. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense fits. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. The dropping back, it's Orgy. Quick completion to the tight end. Both area heads out of bounds, but the pickup was good enough to move the chains. First down. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. And the Wolverines have first and ten here. On the run, it's Edwards. That's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Oh. 
Tailback with another carry. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. It's third down. Quarterback in the shotgun. To the end zone, but incomplete. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So they're short on a fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this chip shot. And it's good. And that will extend their lead even further. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. First down here, the offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. It's a run to the left. A change of direction. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. Second down play coming up. To the air. It's yours. Quick throw to his receiver. And he pulls in the catch. You bring him down, but he makes the 40-yard line. That's a solid game. That's a big first down for this offense. And it's not been a great day so far, but maybe this play can get him going. And keep this in mind, Chris. Because they started the game with the possession, they will not get to start the second half on offense, so they need points right here. First down, looking to throw the football. Grab down the middle, it's Bond. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. They'll crank up the tempo here with the clock ticking down. Second down. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Defense wraps him up after the catch, but he's just short of a first down. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. They crank up the tempo here for this important third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Golden. Stopped at the 43. This offense picks up another first down. And a timeout is called to talk strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. About time this offense gets going. It's a first and ten. There's the snap. And he's looking to throw. Gets made on the out route. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain. More than enough to pick up a first down. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Dropping back. It's yours. Quick throw, testing the middle. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Love to watch this quarterback go out and execute in this kind of situation. He's doing a great job of ignoring the scoreboard and feeling a sense of pressure to have to play with more urgency. Right now, he's executing. We're only in the second quarter. Plenty of time to get back in this game.
Now the important point after attempt. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime with the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. They will return it from inside the 10-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. It'd be a surprise if they took a risk here with the final seconds of the first half backed up near their own end zone. With the catch, it's Loveland. A huge hit by the linebacker. A collision of big bodies there. Well, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. Second down, we're going to throw it. Grab down the middle. It's Morris. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what First that's about. Look at the pass, pass. Defense. Defense. So the offense accepts the roughing the passer penalty, gets a fresh set of downs. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. And they finally bring him down. Great defensive play, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see if the takeaway stands. So, of course, the half cannot end on a defensive penalty. We got one final untimed down with zeros on the clock. And it's no good. He missed it. After the miss, it's still a nine-point lead. Michigan, 16, Texas. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin that Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, tough to beat the pageantry and quality of play so far today in Ann Arbor. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. Longhorns will kick this away to begin the second half. Return begins inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. We get the second half started with a running play. Gets some space around the 30. Makes the defender miss. There's nothing more that helps an offense than committing to that running game and popping an explosive run like this on the ground. It keeps the confidence of your offensive lineup. Same with your back. It helps everything else that you're doing as an offense in your rhythm. Now you can come back with some counters, try to take some shots off of play action, and keep hammering away with that run game. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Loveland. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Here's the handoff. 
That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively, but I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Fourth down. So they'll send out the field goal unit to give it a shot here from very long distance. The kicker has good range, but this one is from 58 yards out. And he's got it from 58 yards away, never in doubt. Personal foul. Welcome to kicker. Kicker. A costly special teams penalty, and here comes the offense back on the field. There's the handoff. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Second down after that run on the previous play. The offense with some pre-snap motion. To throw, it's Orgy. Running out of time in the pocket. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, the defense would not be denied on this play. They come up with a sack. Quarterback really didn't have much of a chance at all. Lucky he just held on to the ball. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll drop back here on third down, trying to extend the play. Defense able to stop it. It's fourth down now. Fourth down, coming up. The Wolverines will come to the line looking to convert on fourth down. Here we go, fourth down. They'll try to run for it. And they tackle him, but a solid gain down to around the five-yard line. Well, these are the kind of situations you practice every week. you got to be able to get a yard. And the offensive line was able to give them just enough push to convert here on the ground. Clearly... They've done this drill before countless times, and it shows. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Touchdown, Wolverines! This offense cannot be stopped. That's a crucial touchdown, Kirk. The offense padding its lead now here in the second half. Yeah, you get into this second half, you start to count possessions and how big your lead is. Now that you're up two possessions, you can start to play really smart football, not just on offense, but on defense as well. Now they'll empty the backfield on this two-point conversion. Looking downfield, it's Orgy. He's moving out of the pocket now. And he runs it into the end zone. That bumps it up to a three-score game. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Makes a quick grab. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. Chris, it's so easy to get excited about the receivers on the outside and their ability to make big plays. But the slot receivers are just as exciting, especially with their finesse, quickness, and ability to make guys miss in the middle of that field. Juan Warren's looking to run some tempo here. Off 
offense will keep it on the ground here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Running through the tackle. Dropped for a loss after the catch on third down. Sets up a fourth down now. Well, obviously, you're going to throw the football on third down. But man, they complete that pass and lose yardage to set up this big fourth down. The Longhorns will have to kick this away. They're going to kick it away for the second time. With the return, it's Morgan. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. In the last possession, the defense just had no answer for this powerful ground game. Let's see what they can do this time. He's running out of time here. And the junior able to get home with the sack. The defender did not bite on the fake at all. They were in pass rush mode the entire time. And Sack sets up second down. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Chris, watch him work through his progressions here. Finds the first and the second option aren't there. By the third option, he's got to pull it down and try to pick up some positive yards, of which he did. And then he slides down to avoid the big hit. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Caught in the backfield. It's Morris. Ball carrier brought down what is the final play of this third quarter. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. And they got to be feeling pretty good about things as we wrap up the third quarter. Let's review how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. No, kick it away here. Fair catch made at the 20. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. And they get a drive going this time. Going for his running back. Pulls it in. It's Baxter. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Chris, here we are in the fourth quarter. These guys are trailing. Had been a great day, but with this quarterback, he's as gifted as anybody in the country. You never count these guys out. The Longhorns hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Gonna run it. It's Baxter. Solid game moves the ball to the 43. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. A game makes it second and medium. Looking downfield, it's yours. Snags the quick throw. Defense makes the stop after the completion. I really like what this defensive coordinator is doing right now. He's got a nice lead to sit back. The most important thing is tackling this offense inbounds so that clock will keep ticking. Important third down play coming up after that completion. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Off target with the throw, incomplete. Oh, the quarterback and receiver just not quite on the same page. But the good news is it's fourth down and short. And trailing in this game, you've got to convert here to keep your hopes alive. The offense stays on the field down multiple possessions. Easy choice. 
A running play called on fourth down. No, they stopped him short. The defense with a big fourth down play to protect this lead late in the game. How about the offense being aggressive? They decide to go for it here, and I got to give all the credit to this defense. Being aware, anticipating the call, knowing exactly where they needed to make the stop, and they did it. Well, the play is just blown up by the big fella in the middle, Kirk, showing some quickness for his size. Yeah, we know about his power, but how about his ability to penetrate there? And that's the quickest way to blow up a run game is that interior penetration. If you're able to break through the middle of that offensive line, then you can create a lot of havoc in the middle. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. Boy, these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Looking to throw it on third and very long. It's a short completion of the big tight end. Defense stops him short of the marker. So now it's fourth down. Offense facing fourth down. The Wolverines will have to kick it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. That punch sails out of bounds. There'll be no return this time. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last time out there, they got stopped on fourth down, but it didn't cost him anything. Let's see what the mindset is here. And he's got it. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. A new set of downs after that completion. Looking to pass. It's yours. Fires it to the wideout. It's caught downfield. They bring him down, but the junior quarterback showing off the cannon. Always have to be careful on the sideline not to step out accidentally. The wide receiver does a good job here on the route to bring the ball in while on a tightrope. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Quick throw caught on the left side. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Longhorns. And a touchdown to the big tight end. We're seeing it more and more on Saturdays and Sundays, Kirk. Well, the tight end saying, hey, guys, don't forget about me. Don't forget I'm a pretty good player, too. All the attention being put on the wide receivers out on the perimeter is going to make this defense have to focus on the interior, making sure where that tight end is and trying to slow him down. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good. They cut the lead to 10, 24 14. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hands seem able to make the crucial recovery. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. Are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Receiver in motion now. They'll work the clock here with the running game. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. Chris, good job here on this stop, but remember the ball is inbounds and the clock keeps moving here late in the game and you're trailing. As a defense, you gotta start thinking about utilizing those timeouts. You got all three to use. At what point are you gonna start putting those into play? Second down after that run on the previous play. And the same runner's got it again. They bring him down to the 27. This offense really threatening them. You know, the thing that's really stood out today for this offense has been the balance. Now, they've gotten some yardage on the running back. He's done his job. The offense line is protected and given the quarterback a chance to be able to throw the football. He's been able to throw the football into the end zone. Now they're just looking to put on the finishing touches to win the game.
And that's the two-minute warning as this offense tries to work the clock, getting closer now to an impressive victory. New set of downs for the offense, first and ten. Ball handed off. It's good for a three-yard gain, so second and seven. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Here's the second down play. Another Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. Now it's third and short from the 22. You expect this is four down territory. Let's see what they do on third down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Scanning the field. It's Orgy. Fires it to the wideout. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So on fourth down, here comes a crucial field goal attempt. Right down the middle. And they add to their lead. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive and at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. The Longhorns offense takes the field. First play of the drive, they're going to throw the football. And he's got his man open downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game, but they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. Game moves the ball to the 40. It'll be first down. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. Big man finally brought down by the cornerback. That was a tough assignment. Well, playing with the lead, good job by this defense to keep the receiver in bounds. Try to keep that clock moving, trying to secure a victory. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. To throw, it's yours. And the clock winding down, they'll take a deep shot. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Touchdown, Texas. Made the defense look slow that time. Well, hold on now, Chris. We're under two minutes to go, and these guys will not go away. They hit this extra point. You cover an onside kick. You never know. Here comes the point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail, though. That makes the score Michigan 27, Texas 21. I believe they're going to line up here to go for the onside kick. And the hand seam able to recover the football. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And the quarterback will take a knee. James Michael Score, Michigan, 27, Texas, 21. 